fixed cameras. Your successful completion of the demonstrated repair ultimately depends on the quality of your tools, the condition of your camera, and most importantly, your repair ability. One way to restore a Gaussian Luna Pro or Luna 6 light meter to the accuracy of the days of the Mercury PX13 batteries is to install a voltage dropping diode. The back cover plate glue can be softened with a blow dryer on medium heat or it can have uh, alcohol seeped underneath to dissolve the glue or you can just pry it off. Four screws retain the back shell into place. Remove those with a slotted screwdriver of the appropriate size. Slip the screws from the positions and separate the shell after you turn the casing over. Watch for the detent ball bearing and the tension spring when you remove the mask slide. Go ahead and remove the spring and bearing and set them aside so they don't accidentally fall out. Disconnect the mask slide from the spring wire post connector. Unsolder the red wire from the battery chamber in preparation for the installation of the diode. All an SK3080 diode with the cathode band in the direction shown. Apply heat shrink to insulate the connection. The SK3080 or the IN4007 diodes are considered vintage diodes but are still available or an equivalent. You can experiment with other diodes to get the correct voltage drop. If the voltage drop is correct, the battery check will be spot on. If you are so lucky, no further adjustments will probably be needed for an accurate meter. However, if adjustments are needed, mark the position of the high adjustments, the first two, the low adjustments, the second two, and the one off by itself is the battery or voltage adjustment. The position marks will be helpful as a zero starting point as you make adjustments to try to tweak the meter in. A good working meter or calibrated uh, light source is essential to uh, compare the settings in order to bring the meter in if adjustment is needed. Once adjusted and satisfied, it's time to reassemble. Reconnect the spring to the slide and position it in, the, in such a manner that it is set into the first groove. Next comes the cover mask. It's laid into the second slot or groove. And finally, don't forget to install the detent spring into the cover slide and the detent spring bearing into the notch. A spot of grease onto the bearing can help hold it in place as you install the other parts. With the slide pieces all into the proper position, the top cover then can be worked in place. Take extra care to make certain that all the linkages align properly before applying pressure to the t two shells. The pieces should come together smoothly. Then check for functionality of the buttons and the slide. Install the four screws that hold the two shells together and then check for proper functionality. Check the high side and the low side. Cover the entire range of light that the light meter would be used under. Compare it to a known good light meter or, of course, you, you can use a calibrated light source if you happen to have one. The back cover plate can be installed using plywon glue or even just double-sided sticky tape. An EV scale chart has been included at the end of this video for your reference. Thank you for watching. Inspired? Check back for new video postings.